Oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one on one in a good old fashioned wrestling match. Oh, man, that one rocked him. This is what makes him so dangerous. And that's a shot that could drop a grizzly. And so what are your thoughts right now on Brock Lesnar? You know, one thing that Brock Lesnar has going for him is that he doesn't ever seem to get tired. I mean, the man has as much energy as he has muscle, and that can make him an unbelievable daunting opponent. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out who's the better competitor, that's for sure. No gimmicks here, just some good old-fashioned one-on-one action. I think there's an area on that back that's not suffering right now. Yeah, when he wakes up in the morning, the only thing on his body that's not going to hurt is his pajamas. Wow! What a reversal by Lesnar! Oh, out of nowhere! Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. I am getting tired of watching this. Do something different. You know, Michael, Lesnar can get rattled if you catch him off guard. It's not easy to do, but if you can strike Brock Lesnar when his defenses are down and stun him, sometimes he's vulnerable. So if you get that clean shot on him, you better go in for the kill right away before he can fully recover. The shoulders are down! One, two... It'll be interesting to see who becomes the alpha male early in the contest. Yeah, the fight is on for dominance. Not today, too fast. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Textbook snap there. Oh, out of nowhere. If there's one place you don't want to get puddled, it's your face. No kidding. Ooh, that's hurting me. Oh, man. Quick pin attempt here. One, two. Quick thinking to avoid that. Not today. Too fast. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Two. Going top rope once more. They love it up there. Three. Getting some air here. Uh-oh. The moonsault. Man, that was pretty. You know, in the past few Two. years, I think we've seen more serious injury caused by Brock Lesnar's Kimura Three. than by any other finisher in WWE. In fact, I don't know if calling it a finisher is adequate. It's more like a mutilator. Just ask Mark Henry or even Triple H. What a move! What a smart move! Oh, wait, nice reversal. Great match here, but if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on the Divas. His nose might end up where his ear is by the time this one's over. Suffice to say, you never want to get in Lesnar's grasp, Cole. He's as strong as an ox. He's got hands the size of lunch pails, and there's no getting out of that Kimura lock once you're in it. All you can do is tap out before he yanks your elbow out of the socket or snaps your arm in half. Okay, look at the leg. This is what happens when someone wants to eradicate their opponent from competition. Yeah, that leg can't stand much more abuse.
one of these guys is going to walk away with the win here tonight. I just can't imagine one of them also accepting defeat. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. And there's the reversal. Oh, out of nowhere. Uh-oh. He's in position, ready to strike. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. Here's the cover. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Brutal and very, very painful for these guys. The back is the largest area on the human body, and thus, Always a target. I know what you mean. You know, I've got a week back. How long did you have that? Well, about a week back. Got out of the way of that one. Driven back down to the mat with unbelievable power. There's some serious power right there. Looking for all the glory here. Two. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. We're looking at complete domination here. Going for broke. And there's the triple German suplex. <gasps> Brock Lesnar says an ups and up, he's gonna end this thing. And his opponent is about to take up residence in Suplex City. He just got laid out. The shoulders are down. People have been wanting to see. Now that's how you make a statement. Not this. He's looking at it again. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. And this has got to be it. Yeah, maybe. Two. Looks to me like the gas tank is at about halfway. You want to make sure it doesn't get close enough to E, though. That's for sure. He's setting it up. Should do it right there. I think this is it. Two. The body's taking some abuse here, but nothing that can't be shaken off. This kind of offense he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made a name for himself with this. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. He's setting it up. Oh, this isn't good. They go to sleep. Night, night. It's over. What a finish. It. Hey, the shoulders are down. Two, three. He did it. What a huge win.
Here we go again. Everyone is trying to get a piece of the champion. This is getting out of hand. Seth Rollins is the rightful number one contender. Daniel Bryan is disrespecting the championship and the number one contender by being out here. Welcome back to the show. This is my guest tonight. Let's talk about Daniel Bryan. This week, Daniel Bryan staked his claim to a title match. Any thoughts? I am ready for any of these three guys. I have no preference one over the other. Any of those matchups would bring the house down. I'm not training for any specific matchup. I'm training to defend my title at WrestleMania. Those are two different things. I hope every challenger understands that. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. 